founding member of the Warm Springs Homeless Shelter in Lapway Island. I'm a regional advisory committee member for Idaho and a member of the First Indian Presbyterian Church in Maya, Idaho. My name is Patricia Carter. I'm Ness Press from Lampway, Idaho. Um, I am the first female ambassador to the National Congress of American Indians. We're a nonprofit organization out of Washington, D.C. Um, I've been asked to address some of, I guess, my previous, um, I guess, involvement in the community. Um, we've actually started a homeless shelter on our reservation. It's called the Warm Fires Community Home. And we've started the shelter to address and um, identify um, the amount of homeless people that were on our reservation, both tribal and non-tribal. It's, I guess, it gives us kind of a little, um, a little oof there, a little difference in us. But um, we've always talked about um, about the actual ideas and the concept behind being um, Indian, behind. Um, behind what makes us a people, what makes us a strong and beautiful people, and that, um, and that is, um, I guess, providing for each other, making sure that everyone in the tribe is taken care of. And I don't know where, what steps have come before this to make us such a people that we're such individuals, and that could be mainstream society, it could be popular culture right now, to, to focus on oneself, but we're, we're, um, we're kind of veering from that, from that whole tribalistic view of taking care of the community, taking care of each other. So that's one thing that we're doing. We've uh, started a homeless shelter to take care of our brothers and sisters, and um, and hopefully, you know, kind of um, treat our community and, and kind of help with the process of healing. And um, so I encourage every community to do the same thing too. Identify those issues that are being detrimental to your community and try to take those steps and, and fixing them. 